planty people this is Shantae with just how I plant it welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new here you might know me on Facebook and Instagram as the owner and creator of the grow grow planters if you don't know me there go ahead and get to know your girl and follow me on my social networks anyway this video is going to golly what is this video about forgot oh this video is going to be about all my current favorite house plants that I have right now this is August so we're about to get into fall so before I add any more plants to my collection we're just gonna talk about what's currently my favorite don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you comment below that you subscribe so I can greet all my new subscribers all right so without any further ado let's get into this video So this big, beautiful Monstera Deliciosa is one of my favorites, and it's a relatively new addition. I've had it only for a couple months. Now, I've had like three of these plants, one of which I put two plants in one pot. I transferred one into Lekka. It did not like it. It lost like many leaves, so then I bought another one and I combined the two. But anyway, so when I saw this one, it didn't matter that I already had two, I had to get it. It's heavily fenestrated, which we know comes with a, a maturity of the leaves. And so it has the fenestrations in it because in its natural habitat, it needs the um, holes in the leaves so that the air can pass through it. Also for when it rains, the water can um, go down and water the leaves below, but it's just so big and massive. Here's a hand check. And I've got this baby from Lowe's and I think it was what, like 60 bucks? and you just, you couldn't beat that. Like, how could I leave this in the store? So this is definitely one of my all time faves. I just, I just love it. It's low maintenance. It's an easy grower, can tolerate um, low light, medium light. I have it in my west facing window. And yes, it's doing awesome. So right next to it, I have this, um, what is this? Philodendron, Philodendron Giganteum. And this is also one of my favorites. I saw this in a plant nursery, um, I don't know, like four or five months back. And I had already bought a smaller one on Etsy. And I think for this smaller one, when I got it, it had like three short leaves and I paid like $35 for it. So when I seen this enormous one, for like $60, I just had to go get it. Like it was on my mind for days. And so I just went and I drove back to the nursery. The nursery was like 45 minutes from my house. But I went and I picked it up and it's just, I love philodendrons. They are just easy care. They're beautiful, um, no fuss. This one does have something going on with it. It has some discoloration in the leaves. Even the smaller one that I have, I don't know if it's like some sort of bacteria situation and then right next to it my monstera also has something which is leading me to believe maybe it's some sort of fungus that's being passed I'm not sure if you have if you know let me know in the comments so I can treat this plant I'm thinking about flushing it with a copper fungicide just to rule that out I do um, fertilize it with liquid dirt every time I water so I'm not sure if it's a nutrient deficiency and it's right in front of this west facing window so it's getting plenty of light maybe it's getting too much light I don't know let me know if you know in the comments all right now I am not entirely sure if my fiddle leaf fig is one of my favorite house plants but if my house were to catch on fire I'm definitely grabbing my fiddle leaf so maybe it is I don't know or maybe it's because of how big it is I know it's harder to replace than some of the smaller ones but this plant for me I definitely do not obsess over it it drops leaves all the time and I'm like eh. You know, so it's like, I don't know. I love it. It's definitely a statement piece in my living room. 
And so for that purpose, I absolutely love it. It's definitely, you know, one of my favorite decor pieces. But as far as plants go, it, I'm not so, so excited about it, if that makes sense. Okay, my bird of paradise, Bertha, and I have another that sits at the top of my stairwell. I actually have three of these plants and the smaller one I currently have outside in my gazebo. If you've been with me for a while, you've noticed that this picture up here to the right has been on the floor waiting to be hung up for months, but won't you do it, I finally got it up. So that's not what this video is about, but I just wanted to point that out because I'm super proud of myself for finally getting it up. But yeah, so Bertha, this Bird of Paradise is such an easy house plant. If I were to start off as a new plant parent right now, I would just fill my house with birds of paradise. This particular one, they're fairly inexpensive if you look in the right place. I got this one from Costco last summer for $25. Like, can you believe it? It has um, two plants and one pot. And then I have the other one I got, there was like four plants and one pot. And I got that from Home Depot for like 60 something dollars. Um, don't go to one of the big nurseries or one of the smaller nurseries, shall I say, because um, I looked, I just priced one yesterday. It was nowhere near this size and they wanted $229 for it. So this is definitely a easy care, low maintenance plant. I have it right here in front of my south facing window. I have this one in Lekka. It is super thirsty though. Um, so if you don't mind watering your plants, then you know, that's fine. Um, this one doesn't get watered as much and you can see um, some of the damage and the neglect of this one, but it's a very forgiving plant. So that is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so I am super loving this colis right now. I, I'm i not really into colorful plants, but look at the color on that. And it goes so well with the decor in my bedroom. So I have more um, color. Look at my husband's clothes over there. <laughs> I have, I'm trying not to show you, I'm trying not to show you the laundry that's on the floor. Um, but yes, it goes so good with my bedroom. I love the color on it. This is such a fast growing plant. I propagated a piece last week and the roots are growing crazy already. I'm gonna have to definitely show you that. So I'm not even lying. This is like a week's worth of root growth. This is a very thirsty plant, though I will say that. It prefers moist soil, and I'm not like, I have too many plants to be hovering over my plants, watering them all the time. So I have this one in a self-watering pot that I have to fill up like twice a week. Um, and I don't really like the way the self-watering pot looks. I got paint all over my hands. I've been painting all morning. Um, but anyway, so I have it in this, you know, this little situation to cover the self-watering pot. And I just take it out just to see where the water level is, but it is growing like crazy. This plant does not like a whole bunch of light. I struggled with it at first. I had it too close to the south facing window. I pulled it back, started giving it more water. And here she is big and beautiful. Okay, over here on my nightstand, I have my beautiful philodendron micans. This was such a, this was a wishlist plant of mine for such a long time. And yes, it is a fast grower. So just like the Hartley philodendron, this one grows super, super fast. And yes, I love how velvety it is. It's very low maintenance. And because it's one of my faves, I have it right next to my bed. So I just roll over in the morning and I feel the leaves or whatever I feel like it. And um, I had one of these when I first started off as a plant parent last year. And I foolishly put it outside and it burnt. But I have learned my lesson and now I have it um, sitting far all the way across the room from my... Um, south facing window and it's doing beautifully quick question y'all y'all think I should paint my room white what do you think because it's like I have south facing windows here but because of the gray color in my bedroom I feel like my bedroom is kind of dark and I don't know like I want to put a plant here but I feel like because it's so far away from the south facing window that this is not enough light and I know white paint 
uh, reflects light. And my husband's like, well, what do your plants say? <laughs> what do they say to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just like when I moved into this house that um, it was already professionally painted and it was nothing wrong with this color. But ideally, originally when I moved in, before I moved in, I wanted a white space. So I know we were getting uh, sidetracked, but let me know in the comments, should I paint my room white? I want to see if you even made it this far in a video. But anyway, Philodendron Mikens, <laughs> definitely one of my favorites. All right, we're in my Ikea greenhouse cabinet and I have poor Freddie over here. Freddie is my fry deck and Freddie used to be one of my favorites. It's still kind of one of my favorites, but if my house caught on fire, I am not saving Freddie. Okay, Freddie is a bit much. It's a bit much to deal with between the spider mites and the high humidity and the uh constant need to be watered all the time like it's it's a lot okay I've had this plant this was one of my first plants actually this is not a beginning uh, a, a beginner friendly plant so I don't know it, it likes high humidity so I have it here in my Ikea grow house greenhouse cabinet um, but yeah alocasia is like one of my favorite types of plants but I don't really do well <laughs> this one is not one of my favorites at all but um it died all the way back and it's come back so I don't know I'm getting the hang of it if it's something that you really really want like if you kill it that's okay just buy another one keep trying keep trying <laughs> so uh, hopefully I get the hang of Freddie if you have any alocasia tips drop them down for me in the um, comments below all right while we're here my teddy bear palm this is like an underrated plant I had no desire to get this plant. It wasn't on my wish list. I'd never heard of it. I was just in Lowe's and I saw it and was like, ooh, what is that? It is very velvety. I like how many different, I like the stems, how bright the stems are. And um, this goes well in my guest bedroom. I'm not gonna show you because it's messy, but I'll show you that. I'll show you the, the wall decals I have so it goes well the pops of color go really good in here and yes this is this is a good plant I um I really don't pay much attention to this one I, I would just water it when it's dry it's not picky about humidity I have it right here in my west facing window about five feet away from it and it's doing just fine okay I am out on my front porch and I'm gonna just group all these cacti together like I'm really getting into cacti they are so low maintenance they grow they don't grow as slowly as I thought they did I bought this one off of Facebook marketplace I got like a like three little pieces and this year worth of growth like they don't grow as slowly as I thought that they but basically all my larger all my larger cacti and um, euphorbia they're all my tops my top favorites um, right now I even have oh this one well this monkey tail cactus I got this from Etsy and it is finally starting to put out some new growth so this is definitely one of my faves as well and then this is a uh, bullwinkle bullwinkle is growing like crazy I um, did a video a few months back and bullwinkle like all this all that from here on down that's all extra that's new growth and I think this is a euphorbia I don't know it feels soft I think it's a euphorbia I think these are like little thorns but I have it in Lekka I don't know it's so cute and wonky and I'm in love with it also my Joseph's coat that's definitely one of my favorite cactuses as well it's just really weird looking um, but I love it this is another euphorbia are you guys into euphorbias and cacti I don't know I'm like I have too many plants to be having uh, a lot of hard to take care of plants so I'm starting to get more into low maintenance house plants and so I don't know I love it I love this one I have no idea what it's called oh it's called an African palm tree euphorbia ironic and ironicata and I got this from Lowe's and it looks like it has like little flowers I don't know I don't know they're cute to me so this is also one of my favorites right now and then my yucca which I really neglect this plant but I would be super sad if it died and if my house caught on fire I'm definitely grabbing my yucca I got this off of Facebook marketplace I only paid 60 bucks for it so it's a, it was a steal and so I currently just have it outside soaking up the sun 
and this is very easy care. I had another yucca that just died all of a sudden, so I have no idea what happened. But uh, I don't know, I just love how this one is branching. I have one in my backyard not doing too well. I want to like hack it off here, seal it with wax so it will start branching because right now it just grows straight up and down. And it is very, very boring. It's not doing much. So I definitely want to hack this one. I, I forgot that I wanted to do that and I should do it. It's summertime. I should hurry up and do it while it's in the growth season so it has a better chance of recovering. My ponytail palm is another one of my favorites. I currently have it outside in timeout because I saw some mealybugs on it. And so I hosed it down and I sprayed it. And I haven't even been back to check on it. Um, it's looking pretty good though. It's been raining like super hard like every day for like the past week so I don't know that might have been enough to take care of it and then I sprayed it down first I sprayed it with alcohol then I hit it with some neem oil um, but this is a very easy plant very beautiful I love it's hang time long long hair don't care you know and it stores most of its um, water in its base right there so I only have to water it once a month currently in my backyard this plants I forgot I even had so are they my favorites? I think they are. I just forgot about them. But this um, Syndapsis Exotica, this is definitely a favorite. I love how big and beautiful its leaves are. This has been super easy to grow. It's trailing beautifully. And I found this at, I want to say Lowe's for like 16 bucks. And it was so big and full. So I took some out of the pot because it was so full that you couldn't even get down in it good to water it. So I don't know, I'm definitely loving what this plant as well. This is the piece that I separated out of the pot and put it in its own pot. And you see how big and full it is? Actually, it was another piece. It was a, an additional piece that I did a giveaway on. So you could see how full it was. But yes, look at the bigness, how big the leaves are. And I love the satiny. Look, look, look at those leaves, how big they are. I love how satin they, satiny? Is that a word? I don't know. I love the leaves. I love the color. I love um, how low maintenance it is. And I just love trailing plants too. Okay, so I know we started the video in the living room and you would have thought I would have hit all the plants in the living room at one time, but my mind just doesn't work like that. I'm all over the place, but I get my steps, okay? <laughs> this is how I get my steps, by being unorganized. Anyway, this is my big, beautiful philodendron cellum or philodendron hope. I think it's been reclassified, but I'm not that type of plant parent. Like, I don't know all of those logistics. I just know I love it. I love how big and beautiful it is. It takes up so much room though. This is one of the oldest leaves you see. It's like trying to go out. Oh, this one definitely, this one. But the newest leaf looks so it's stretching all the way to the sun. I had it. I had them on these uh, like little stabilizers to keep them in check. Um, but this is one of the newest leaves and look how huge that is hand check see so this is definitely one of my favorites this is a very low maintenance plant I water it maybe once a month once every two or three weeks I have it in this huge pot so it doesn't need to be watered too often and then speaking of big leaves this this is my favorite this alocasia regal shields this is the only alocasia that really doesn't give me too much drama i just don't like that with a new leaf you see the new leaf coming in it loses a leaf and this is like the biggest the biggest leaf and the oldest leaf and i'm not sure it's getting enough light in my house um so i have the new leaf coming out here um but let's see the last leaf that it put out is nowhere near as big um, so I don't know if it's getting enough light I have it here in my living room I'm getting uh, east light here and then north light there I really don't have room in my south facing windows for a plant this big but it is living under the grow light and it's just let me bring it down so we can see better yeah it's just it's huge. It takes up so much space. I really don't know where to put it in my house where it's going to get enough light 
and I still have room to walk around. So I don't know. Definitely one of my favorites, the Alocasia Regal Shields. I appreciate you sticking through to the end and I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed this favorite houseplant tour. My current houseplant's favorites. What? I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below that you subscribe. And until next time, happy planting.